Now in the last part of this question, what we've got to do is find the magnitude of the impulse received by C. And what I've done is I've updated the diagram with the mass M that we found for B, which was 5. Okay, 5 kilograms. So how are we going to work out this impulse then that uh, is received by C? Well, what I'd want to do is draw a diagram really just about C. What's happening is that when these two particles bang into one another, they receive a kind of blow, basically, an impulse. And I'm going to label my impulse that C receives as I. It receives a bang on the right here. And B receives an equal and opposite impulse in the other direction. Okay, so they hit one another and they both receive impulses equal and opposite in the directions that I've shown. Now, how do you work out this impulse on C then? Well, what you've got to do is remember what the formula is for impulse. And what I've got here is a quick reminder that if you've got a mass M and it receives an impulse and originally it's moving with a velocity of U1 and after the impulse, after the bang, it moves with a velocity V1. Impulse is defined as the change in momentum, the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at just C. We always look at just one of the particles. So what I'm going to do then is consider C. Now because we're dealing with velocities here, again we've got to make sure that we set up a positive sense. And in impulse questions it's always a good idea to set up the positive sense in the direction of the impulse. So if we're considering C, the positive sense would be to the right. Okay, It will work to the left, but I would encourage you to do it to the right. Try it to the left and you can see what happens. You should get the same answer. But we're looking for I. So, if we use this equation, we've got that the impulse I, let's just define it as impulse I, equals. And then we've got the mass times the final velocity. So let's start with the mass first. So we've got the mass, which is 3. And then we've got to multiply it by the velocity, the final velocity, which is 3. It's the speed of 3 in the positive sense, so the final velocity will be 3. And then we've got to subtract the initial momentum. So starting with the mass first, we've got 3, and then we need to multiply this with the initial velocity. And do you notice the speed here is 2 meters per second, but it's acting towards the left in the opposite sense to the direction we've picked as positive. So the velocity will be minus 2. So take care over this bit. This is the bit that's most probably going to cause problems. Okay, so all we've got now to do is work this out. We've got 3 threes and 9, and minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. 9 and 6 is 15. Don't forget the units for impulse. The units are Newton seconds when you've got mass in kilogram and a velocity in meters per second. So 15 Newton seconds. Now it's worth mentioning at this point, not that you had to do it, but it's worth mentioning that you could have found the impulse acting on B. It's going to be exactly the same as that on C, but just in an opposite sense. I will do that for you here, okay? Not that you had to do it, as I say, but let's just imagine that we considered B. Because in some problems, it is actually easier to consider the other particle. But uh, in this one, it doesn't really matter. So I'll take the positive sense to the left in the direction of I. Okay, so we'll have that as positive. So the impulse I... would equal the mass, 5, times the final velocity. Now, it's got a speed of 1 then, going to the right, but this is in the opposite sense to what we've got here, so it would be 5 times negative 1. And then we've got minus the initial momentum, so it would be the mass, which would be 5, 
multiplied by the initial velocity. So we've got 4 meters per second. It's in the opposite sense to our plus here, so it would be 5 times minus 4. And look what we get. We get 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. But when you do minus 5 plus 20, you get 15. 15 newton seconds. Exactly the same I value as was received on C. But as I say, you've got to just take care over your positive sense in either part. Okay, well, I would have done this part anyway, uh, rather than this for this particular question. Okay, well, that brings us to the end now of this question.